Hey up YouTube, it's uh, Inam Gafour again with the Samsung Galaxy S2. Um, what I'm going to be showing you is, uh, today how to get rid of the yellow triangle with the black exclamation mark in the middle when you boot up the device. Um, you only get that once you've rooted your phone. Um, and I'll just show you, I'll just switch on mine. There you go, see the yellow triangle with the black exclamation mark in the middle? And that's the telltale signs are that the phone's been rooted, uh, essentially being given super user or administrative privileges on the phone itself. Um, so what we're going to be doing is once it boots up, I'll just show you what versions I'm running on the phone itself. Uh, and then what we're going to do is use a, uh, this is the first method I'm going to show you in this particular video. I'll do another video on the second way you can do it. But this first method is using what's called a USB jig. And this is it. It's basically USB plug on the one side which fits into the bottom of the phone where the charger goes and there's just like a centimeter and a half worth of plastic on the end um, with the, the circuitry inside and that's it um, on the phone itself what we'll do I'll just show you what I'm running show you that the phone is rooted you can see I've got CWM and super user apps on the screen there and just go if I just go to the settings and then I'll show you what I've got. You can see I'm running Android 2.3.6. Okay, um, so what we'll do is we'll turn off the phone to begin with, power it off completely. Once that's off, what I'll do is just remove the battery just to make sure there's starting up fresh. Just remove the battery. Whoops. There you go. We'll just leave it out for about 10 to 15 seconds or so. Then what we'll do is we won't even turn on the phone. We'll put the battery in and we'll plug the USB jig in. It'll, the jig will automatically put the phone into download mode. Uh, normally, if we wanted to get the phone into download mode, we'd press the volume down, home, and then the power button together to get it into download mode. But in this case, we won't be doing that. We'll just be plugging the USB jig in and it will hopefully do the trick. So we'll just put the phone back in. Or should I say the battery back in. We're not going to switch on the phone, so I'm just going to hold it and then plug in the USB jig. So that's now in. And it should bring up the phone into download mode. And then you can see, automatically it says, Odin mode, product name GT-I9100, um, custom binary download, no, which means I haven't flashed it. Current binary, Samsung official meaning that I haven't got no customary custom ROM on there and it says in green you can see erasing download information succeeded so that's it so it's it's wiped the the ROM settings as it were so that the manufacturer can't tell if I flashed the device normally if you flashed it it will say on there um, custom binary download yes and it'll give you a number to say how many times you flashed it I did have there one before and then where it says current binary normally says custom if you've had some other one on there now that's done all we simply do is unplug the USB jig incidentally this costs about three to four pounds from eBay just check out the models um, that it supports and just get one um, but as I say I will be showing you a second method in one of my other videos on how to do this without purchasing any equipment and then all we do is turn the phone off by holding in the power. Once that decides to turn off, bingo. Okay, and then all we do is switch the phone back on again as per normal by holding in the power button until it switches on. And then you can see there's no yellow triangle with a black, black exclamation mark in the middle. That's all disappeared, which is what we want. So what we'll now do is just wait for the phone to boot up and then I'll show you if the phone still has a root access by having those two apps on the screen for super user and CWM. So we'll just give it a sec to boot up. So we'll just give it a sec to boot up. There we go. So what I'll do, just swipe through. Go to applications, so I'll just show you the version again. Settings, about phone. Those are the versions that I'm running, 2.3.6, with a custom ROM, um, which I rooted. 
Okay, uh, and then if you scroll across, you can see I've got super user and TWM. If we go to super user, it should give us say what we have. Well, yeah, blah blah blah. There's no apps currently that have super user access, but if we go to CWM, it carries out the same tasks and says, "Can you have super user access?" So we hit allow, and then it gives us the little bar there saying permissions were granted. So that still works, which is good. Okay, and that's how you get rid of the yellow triangle with a black exclamation mark uh, on the boot up screen. Um, if for some reason when you plug in the USB jig you don't get the green um, writing along the bottom um, towards the top where the text ends saying erase successful or succeeded, <clears throat> that will be because you've got a, a newer custom ROM that um, the, the jig can't reset so all you'll need to do is go in or load up Odin download a old bootloader um, and then flash the device with the old bootloader you won't lose anything and then um, any data uh, and then plug in the jig then it'll do its thing uh, as it just did and then all you do is load up the new bootloader uh, any questions if you need any help uh, or, or need me to show you on how to do that scenario if the USB jig doesn't work by all means comment below please subscribe above from the bottom up there uh, just to check out some of my forthcoming videos thanks for watching and goodbye